And the sixth core skill of meditation is, uh, is effectiveness. Practice and training are essential. Repetition is essential. I meet people all the time who attend a meditation class or a yoga class or a, a progressive muscle relaxation or autogenic training class, and they learn some core techniques, and they try it, and they say, wow, that was helpful, but it doesn't become something life-changing for them. And the reason why is because they have not practiced it and they have not trained. It is important, I think, to practice the techniques of mindfulness meditation on a daily basis. That way it becomes not simply something that we do during the daytime at a specific point, but something that we actually take with us then throughout each and every day. And the seventh principle is the principle called wise mind. This is a state of calm, uh, centered, uh, and in control of emotion. It is a self-directed state. It is a state that is able to differentiate between emotion and action. This is a very healthy state for those who've suffered from anxiety, uh, depression, uh, or anger-related problems in particular. And development of wise mind is something that comes about as one practices the principles of mindfulness-based stress reduction and simple mindful meditation. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to guide you through a basic and very simple mindful meditation exercise. There are seven components to this, and you don't have to feel um, you don't have to feel a need to, uh, to to experience this in a certain way or to have a specific outcome. I understand that for you, this is probably the first time that you've tried an activity like this, and, and the only cautions in an activity like this are, of course, to never move into a position that's uncomfortable. Uh, make sure, of course, that. Um, uh, if you have psychiatric conditions that include departures from reality at times like mania or schizophrenia or psychotic states, uh, that you consult your psychiatrist before using the techniques of mindfulness-based meditation or other uh, medical or mental health professional. And of course, I also think it's important that you have a stable place, a very comfortable and solid chair rather than a rolling chair or seated on the floor, especially when doing breath work. And if at any time you become dizzy or uncomfortable, simply allow yourself to take in a natural breath, inhaling and exhaling, and allowing your body to become self-directed and in tune with itself. The very first element of simple mindful meditation is to focus on breathing. We breathe each and every day, all day. But how often do we actually think about our breath. We can't relax without breathing. We can't breathe without relaxing. That relationship is an interdependent relationship that is at the foundation of mindfulness and awareness. So the first element of a simple mindful meditation session is to focus on the breathing. Allowing yourself to feel the sensation of air through the nostrils as you inhale. And feeling those same things when you exhale. Non-judgmentally, participating fully in the process of what for many people will be an awareness of breathing for the very first time. Go ahead and try that now, breathing in and out. In out. And any time your attention wanders from focusing on your breath, simply bring your attention back to your breathing as you continue to breathe in and out. The second component of a simple mindful meditation is a body scan. Anywhere you notice the tension of the day, simply let those muscles relax. Move your body to the front. Become aware of what it feels like to move from the core. And move your body back slightly. Paying attention to the sensation and the feeling of movement. And then returning your body back to its original position. The third component is to focus on the breath again. Breathing in and out. Simply noticing the feelings, the thoughts, and the sensations of how it 
field to breathe. Not intentionally trying to breathe in any particular way, but rather simply focusing on the body's ability to breathe on its own. The fourth component, and I hope that you're following this process with me, is to again let any muscles that are tense relax. But focus on the feeling and the sensation of movement, moving to the left, moving to the center, and moving your body to the right, and moving back to the center. Focusing on the sensation of awareness, the muscles experience, your mind's experience, and the process of becoming aware of the very simple things in life. The fifth aspect of simple mindful meditation is to become aware of the sensation of calm. Notice as you continue to breathe in and out, a state of calm from head to toe in all of the muscles of your body and in the stillness of your mind as well. And the sixth element is to become aware of presence, the presence of the room. And most of you are probably doing this exercise with your eyes open. And if you want to, you might find it easier at this point to simply close your eyes and take a moment to become aware of the mind's ability to focus on awareness, the firmness of the floor below your feet, the air in the room around you, and each and every breath in and out. Being aware of your presence in this process. And in this state of calm, we can end the process of simple mindful meditation with the seventh step, affirmation. Simply saying to yourself, I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. Or if there are other affirmations that would be beneficial to you. For example, I am refreshed and empowered. I am refreshed and empowered. You can simply recite in your mind or verbally those affirmations. And then opening the eyes, taking in another breath, in and out, you've actually gone through the basic process of learning the art of mindful meditation. Practicing these techniques at least three times a day for the first 21 days will create an experience that powerfully changes your physical state of being, your emotional and mental state of being, and your spiritual state of being as well. My hope is that you've benefited from the short video on mindfulness-based stress reduction and mindfulness meditation techniques. You can find many other resources for hypnosis, psychotherapy, and hypnosis and hypnotherapy at my website, subliminalscience.com. If you ever have any questions about this process, uh, leave them here on YouTube or give me a, uh, send me an email from my website. I'm always more than happy to help people who are beginning to learn the process experience success.